Hi, everyone. Welcome to TML Talk Game Day. It's the uh, state, and uh, as is the norm, as we always get set here at Leeds TV to prep you on the day of a game. The arena is empty for the time being. However, in about 15 to 20 minutes, the players will start filtering onto the ice as they get set to uh, prepare for a game against the Carolina Hurricanes. Dan Dunleavy is here. Brooke Pashley is here as well to keep us up to date with what is happening with Leaf Nation uh, online. And, uh, Dan, as far as tonight's game is concerned, uh, you know, last game we said it was the biggest game of the season. I think tonight uh, is even bigger when you see another team, a team in behind them, an opportunity to bury the Hurricanes and to keep moving on to the state within that Elite Eight of the Eastern Conference. Yeah, and, and, you know, you, you, you certainly hope that the lesson from the Florida game is still fresh in their mind about a slow start and just how tough you make it on your yourself as a team throughout the night. The thing about Carolina is, and Bob McGill and I talked about it yesterday a little bit um, on uh, our Leafs Today show, is the fact that this is a Carolina team that has sort of had, well, sort of, they've had Toronto's number for a while here, and certainly this year is uh, you and I have both been at both games where the Leafs have not been able to come out with victories. So Carolina, even though they've struggled with their last six games and trying to pick up a W here, Paul, there's no doubt that they come into this game, even with players being shuffled in and out of the lineup, uh, you know that they come in here thinking, well, look, we beat these guys twice this year. Maybe this is our game. We get it back. Right. And they have that kind of confidence and swagger to them. So uh, they obviously have a head coach as well that, uh, you know, knows the atmosphere and the pressures with this club in Toronto making the playoffs and what stress they'll be under tonight. And I don't for a second think he won't use that as some motivation, not only for them to get back into the playoff race in Carolina, but, you know, just to maybe put the screws to this team a little bit as far as uh, keeping the pressure ramped up. The uh, Leafs are 18-1-3, and three, by the way, when scoring three or more goals in a hockey game. So uh, get through the second, hopefully have two goals and something to build upon and the chances for victory. Pretty good for the Maple Leafs as Bob McGill joins us. And uh, tonight's headlines brought to you by Expedia.ca, your trip, your way. Home, sweet home, as mentioned. The Leafs 8-2-2 two and two in their last 12 games here at the Air Canada Centre. In fact, they head into this one tonight against Carolina, having won three consecutive home games. The uh, top line reunited, and yes, it feels so good. Joffrey Lupel now back playing with Tyler Bozak and uh, Phil Kessel, and the gang from Raleigh must rally. They come into this game having lost six consecutive games and the opportunity to get back in the Southeast Division race. Imperative that they get a victory here tonight, Bob, because if they don't, uh, it's all but done, and uh, they're looking ahead to next season and possibly the draft where there are a few nuggets of goodness awaiting them at the draft in Newark this uh, this June. Uh, exactly, Paul, and uh, you know, let's hope that the Maple Leafs can take care of business uh, we're not going to worry about Carolina uh, you know they've had uh, you know a Stanley Cup in the last you know you know in the 2000s put it that way since, yeah. since since the Maple Leafs have last been in the playoffs so uh, I think the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, you know would certainly love to put a dagger in the hearts of uh, the Carolina Hurricanes and their fans and you know you talk about the Canes coming in and you know really 0 5 and 1 in their last six hockey games and the big thing is, is their offense has dried up. I mean, holy smokes, they've scored seven goals in those six games. So, uh, you know, a solid defensive effort here by the Maple Leafs uh, can certainly, hopefully, you know, keep the Canes from getting back on the victory side of things. Well, the uh, the lines here, and uh, I'm pretty much official, James Reimer is going to start here for the Maple Leafs tonight. The defensive pairings, nothing's changed. Franson. And uh, Mark Frazier, Dion Phaneuf, Carl Gunnarsson, Tosca alongside that of Gardner. The top line, well, now the top line, uh, the new top line remains intact from the latter two periods of uh, Lupel, Bozak, and Kessel. You've got Nick Kuhlman between uh, on the other side of uh, James Van Riemsdyk and Nazem Kadri. Ryan Hamilton centering the fourth line, as we've talked about with uh, McLaren and Orr, Fratton, Grabowski, and McClement. So there you are, set up for the Carolina Hurricanes here tonight as the May Place Five for their 19th win of the season. We'll have a game for you here on Leafs TV tonight. It begins at 7 o'clock and we'll begin things with our pregame coverage. It begins with Gate Five Live, in fact, at 6 o'clock, followed by our Molson Canadian Leaf Nation pregame show. It's set to begin at 6 30.